Welcome back. You're watching Prime Edition now. Set against the backdrop of the Mau Mau Rebellion, the film Wamaida, which is our focus tonight on the weekly segment Cinemas and Theatre, tells the hidden stories of women fighters who bravely made their mark in history. Well, take a look. Wamaida is a riveting action packed love story that takes us back in time during the colonial era at the height of the Mau Mau struggle. The film follows Wamaida, a daughter of a preacher who falls in love with Kongo, a Mau Mau rebel. She, however, finds herself in a conflicting situation whether to continue being with the rebel or follow her father's preaching. <laughs> Written and directed by Kenya the Mungai and Akikwetu Productions, the film also seeks to highlight the role played by women in the Mau Mau arms struggle for independence. <laughs> but what inspired the idea of the film? I've always been a lover of history. I love history, so I've been watching a lot of documentaries, reading a lot of books, a lot of memoirs, and all these things pertaining to history. I realized that a lot of our history, especially uh, stories around Mau Mau and the British col colonial rule in Kenya, is very, very distorted. The history that we get is extremely edited. And after reading so many books, I realized we have a lot of stories that haven't been told, and I felt the need to tell the story. The film stars Maurice Mwangi as Kongo, Jambi Mboro as Wamaida, Kimani Mboro as Hosea, Kevin Dagana as Njau, Anthony Ndongo as Michuki, Stuart as Captain Terence among others. We always audition. So this time around was a bit tricky because we were looking for somebody um, who sort of fits the Mau Mau era. So it was not easy. Actually we did like <laughs> three auditions. Yeah, the first audition we did, the guys came, we found a few people, but again, remember, the movie is in Kikuyu. So we had to look for somebody who is very proficient in Kikuyu. We need somebody who can speak it very well, and that was tricky. Finally, we got somebody, we landed uh, to somebody who has never been on screen before. So you can imagine, our lead character is the first time for her. Yeah, so we had to train her first. We had to train her just how to be an actor. Of course, she's a good actress. She did very well. But there are a few things that you have to learn about how to be in front of a camera, to understand the camera. Kangeve Mungai notes the filming process of Omaida was one challenging but successful project. The filming process was amazing. I, was, I have to say Omaida to date is one of the most challenging one of the most challenging projects I've ever engaged in, the most challenging, because we are shooting on location. I love to shoot on location. I always try as much as possible to steer clear of the green screens and the studios and all that. If need be, I really go to the location. So we have to go deep inside um, Kirinyaga Forest, and we stay there for a couple of weeks, just shooting the forest uh, scenes. Yeah, it took us, it, it took a toll on us at some point. We got inside the water, in the rivers, and you can imagine, it's not the same. When you look at it from an outsider's perspective, you'll realize uh, it looks easy. You know, it, as, as though you can just get in and just do anything. But the moment you get inside the river and feel the cold water of Mount Kenya, then you realize how hard this thing is. Wamaida is produced in Kikuyu dialect, a move Kangevi appreciates as it brought out the authenticity of the film. First and foremost, we identify with the storylines. We identify with our stories. Even the, the guys who are the, the, the actors themselves, when you tell your story in your own language, you can even be able to tell the authenticity. The way somebody can be able to bring out a story is very different from when I'm talking to you from other languages. And it's a high time even other people realize that uh, we have our own languages in Kenya. The Mau Mau story has not been told by us for a long time.
and we are really happy to be part of the people who are doing it yeah and and would like people to just come and see it's going to show people where we are coming from because apparently i think people keep tend to forget people need to understand the sacrifices that were made for us to enjoy the freedoms that we're enjoying today people need to understand that their culture matters uh, today the premiere of this film will be at the nairobi film center that's nairobi cinema along aga khan walk that will be on the 29th of june that's the red carpet event. Then the following day, on 30th, we're going to have two screenings, one at 2 p.m. and the other one at 4 p.m. Once a Mau Mau, always a bloody Mau Mau. Jacqueline Masharia for Cinemas and Theatre.